Hi, I'm James, and on this episode of Heads Up for Hosers, we'll be talking about NPSM, or National Pipe Straight Mechanical Fittings, and how to properly identify and install them. As we saw the last time we dealt with pipe thread, NPT and NPTF had some shortcomings that caused them to be unreliable when tasked with creating a leak-free seal. This last type of pipe thread is called NPSM, or National Pipe Straight Mechanical Thread. This female fitting was developed to eliminate the stress that a rigid connection caused to a hose when twisting on a fitting. It accomplishes this by having a swivel connection which turns freely on the fitting to be able to tighten the connection. This swivel is now a straight thread, so instead of sealing with a wedging action by two tapered threads, the sealing is now done on a 30 degree seat located inside the swivel. This means for the male pipe to seal with the female NPSM fitting, it also has to have the 30 degree seat located at the top of the fitting. Not all male pipe threads have this seat as it is not a requirement for an NPTF fitting, but some will have it. Do note that even though the NPSM thread is a straight thread and the NPTF is a tapered thread, they can still provide a seal when used together provided the NPTF has the 30 degree seat. The sealing of this pipe thread is no longer done with a wedge connection. Because of this, an NPSM fitting is commonly used for low pressure applications like farming equipment. National Pipe Straight Mechanical comes in a wide range of sizes, from Dash 2 to Dash 32. Something to note is that National Pipe Threads do not come in a Dash 10 size. Now you're probably asking what a Dash size is. Well, a Dash size is the determination of sizes for hose, tubes, and fitting measurements. This is measured in 1 16 inch segments. In this video series, we will deal mostly with hose and fittings, but note that for tubing, the dash size calculation is slightly different. Now here's an example. So, when dealing with most types of hose, dash four equals four 1 16 inch segments, which equals four 16 or equal to one quarter of an inch hose ID. Now to measure pipe threads, you need to have an understanding of nominal pipe sizes as well. Nominal pipe sizes are confusing because they are based on an antiquated method of measuring pipe and fittings. Long ago, when pipes started being made, they were measured from their inside diameter. So a one inch pipe measured one inch on the inside and 1.32 inches on the outside. When different applications called for higher pressures, they could not change the external dimensions of the thread because the pipe had to work in all the same situations. Instead, they opted to make the inside diameter smaller. This means that in this day and age, a one inch NPT fitting may not be measured one inch anywhere on the fitting. But it's a mouthful to call a one inch fitting a 1.32 or a one and five sixteenths inch fitting. So instead, we opt for its nominal size or in name only for simplicity. When presented with a fitting that looks like this, there are very few options what it could be because of its unique design. Looking for a swivel, a parallel thread, and an internal seat, the fitting can only be one of two options, a female NPSM or a female BSPP. To start identification, we will measure the inside diameter of the fitting. Because this is a female fitting with a straight thread, you can measure the inside diameter anywhere within the actual fitting itself. This ID measures one and a quarter inch. From this, we minus a quarter inch to determine the nominal thread size, a common practice with all pipe fittings. Consulting our book, we turn to the NPSM section. Choosing the closest ID measurement, we compare the thread pitch size to the fitting using the thread pitch gauge. Here we see that a dash 16 fitting has a nominal size of one dash 11 and half threads per inch. Using the thread pitch gauge, we can see that this is a Dash 16 female NPSM fitting. Since this fitting is so similar to BSPP, if you do not get a good fit with your thread pitch gauge, you should consult the BSPP section of your book to confirm it is this instead. To identify a male NPSM thread, we start a little differently than the female thread by measuring the internal seat present at the top of the thread. Here you can see that we have the caliper at a 90 degree angle to the fitting. 
The seat in this fitting is in fact a 30 degree seat. Taking our calipers, we now need to measure the OD, or outside diameter, of this fitting. Because it is a straight thread, we can measure anywhere along the fitting. Just make sure your calipers are at a proper angle. This measures 1 and 1 16. Subtracting 1 quarter inch from this measurement will give us our nominal thread size. When we confirm with the book, we can see that the fitting with an OD of 1 and 1 16 of an inch will have a nominal thread size equal to 3 quarter inches dash 14. Taking our thread pitch gauge, we can confirm this one last time by comparing the number 14 gauge to the threads on the fitting. This confirms that this is a dash 12 NPSM male fitting. It is important to note that if you want to determine if an NPTF fitting will mate with a female NPSM, you need to confirm that there is a 30 degree seat present in the male fitting. This should not be confused with a slight deburr point present on all NPTF and NPT fittings, as this will not provide a seat to seal on. Not all NPTF fittings will have this seat, as Aerocope does not want to promote the stacking of adapters. Even though you can make some sweet lightsabers out of them. Mm, mm, mm. This is because creating a chain of adapters might be a quick and cheap solution. But with every additional adapter, you increase the chance of leak points. Also, with more adapters, you increase the chance of restriction in the system that could heat up the hydraulic fluid inside and cause the system to break down prematurely. So because of these reasons, most NPTF adapters will not have the internal 30 degree C, but they do exist if you need this connection. An NPSM connection is installed by turning until you have it hand tight. Once you have it hand tight, you only need one and a half complete turns to ensure it is tightened. Leaks in an NPSM connection are commonly caused by either simply being too tight or not tight enough. If you do over tighten, you can mushroom out the seat of the fittings, so it is recommended you replace the damaged pieces and attempt to tighten again. If your seat on either the male or the female connection is damaged or pitted, it can create a leak bath, so it is recommended you change your fitting. A common problem when identifying NPSM fittings is their relation to BSPP or British Standard Pipe Parallel Threads. Although we have not touched on these fittings that much yet, it is important to know their relation when attempting to identify NPSM fittings. Because BSPP fittings share a lot of the same design characteristics to NPSM, they can often be mistaken for each other and, at certain sizes, even thread together fairly well. Referring to these size charts, we can see that when dealing with a Dash 8 or Dash 12 fittings, these two share the same nominal pipe size and thread pitch, making identifying them very difficult. Truthfully, the biggest difference is that pipe thread has a 60 degree thread angle, whereas BSPP has a 55 degree thread angle. This means that even though they feel like they thread together well, the difference in the thread angle means that a true seal is never formed and there's a chance of leaking. So here are a couple of tricks that can help you out in identifying between the two. When identifying a male fitting in this category, you can reference the collar at the bottom of the threads. On the bottom of an NPSM fitting, there is a slight collar between the threads and the flats of the fitting. Now if you compare the BSPP, we can see that this collar is also present, but a lot larger. So that is one identifying factor you can look for. Now if you're dealing with a female fitting, it's a different story. You can see here that the collar is no longer identifiable. So in this case, we recommend that you question what equipment this fitting came off of. Depending on the type of equipment and the country of origin of said equipment, you can have a sense for what type of fitting you are working with. For example, if the equipment is from a European manufacturer, your fittings will most likely be BSPP rather than an NPSM. This is a rare circumstance that you will get to this point, but for a Dash 8 or a Dash 12 NPSM fitting, it is important to note that this mix-up could be a possibility. Well, thank you for joining us on another episode of Heads Up for Hosers. Hopefully we were able to help you in identifying and installing pipe fittings. Join us in the next episode in this series where we will be taking on JIC SAE fittings. We'll see you next time and have a great Canadian day.